Hey guys, Cat Tom here with Studio Sweat On Demand here with the lovely Eastside. Bethany? Hi. Mayor W. Hello. And the newest hey. Studio Sweat trainer, Halima. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're here to talk about uh, is riding on rhythm, specifically when it comes to doing jumps. So raise your hand if you hear beat. <laughs> Ish. I've gotten a lot, a lot <laughs> yeah, better. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> so these are three amazing trainers, but they don't hear beat, and that's not their fault. But that doesn't mean that they can't ride on beat, and that doesn't mean that they can't do jumps on beat. Um, this video is kind of specifically for you instructors in the house to help you maybe learn how to ride on tempo and to be better when it comes to leading jumps. So here are eight tips to help you trainers in the house learn to successfully teach jumps. Tip number one, know the cadence of the song. Cadence and beats per minutes are the same thing. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to download an app that you can use to tell the beats per minute of a song, okay? So for example, um, there is one, Eric, go ahead and put it on the screen. When you bring a song into DJ Player, it's gonna tell you how many beats per minute the song is, okay? So that's the first step. By the way, I use uh, Power Music. There's a lot of apps that you can use. You don't have to use this one, it's just one that some of our instructors do use. Tip number two, when you're doing jumps, and again, this is how I do them. Um, I use songs that are anywhere between 65 and tops 85 beats per minute, which is also the same as RPMs, by the way. Okay, so you want to find songs that are between 65 and 85, well, in my opinion. Okay, so that's tip number two. Tip number three, have a plan yeah. for your jumps. Have a plan. Am I going to do eight count intervals, four counts, two counts, eights, then fours, then twos? For an example, up eight, seven, six, five, okay? Um, or the other, you know, there's other options. I'm gonna do jumps during the chorus, and then I'm going to do sprints during the bridge of a song. Just make sure that you have a plan. And it's okay to stray from your plan, but at least go in having a plan, okay? Tip number four. <laughs> you count the beat every time your, for example, right leg comes down. So let's say that you find out that, or figure out you're gonna use a song that's 65 RPMs, okay? So everybody get going here at 65 RPMs. Okay, and I'm gonna assume that you have a cadence monitor. That's really all I can do at this point, okay? That's all I can do for you. That's all I can do. All right, so are we at 65 RPMs, team? Almost, Okay, yes. now, what I want you to do is every time that right foot comes over the top, I want you to count, starting with eight, going down to one. Here we go, Beth, eight, seven, seven six, five, four, three, Two, one. You know why that was so hard that was for me? Really good though. Yeah. I always count my left leg. Then do your left leg. But I count it down. That's I okay. Do, I do yeah. the down. As long as it's steady. Okay. A steady, consistent okay. count. Okay. Very That's good. Why I was like left, right. Which one? Who? You did fantastic. Thank you. Um, the next tip, and this is for your participants more than it is for you. Always count down, not up. Yeah. Because if you count up, everybody has to remember, what, are we doing eights, are we doing fours? What are we doing here, right? If you count down. You already know what you're doing. You already know, the class already knows, okay? So that's the, the tip number five. Tip number six, start your countdown on an even number for the most part. Sometimes um, I'll see instructors and they'll start on a, the five. So they'll be in our, their head thinking, okay, I want them to know it's time to get up in about five seconds. But songs are not written on odd counts. When you think about music, for those of you that know much about music, most things are done on an eight count. So when you're gonna count down, generally you're gonna have better luck staying on beat and helping your class stay on beat if you come in on an even number, okay? Now sometimes I will use the word in as my even number. So I might say something like, all right, and we're gonna stand in for Three, well I didn't do that. We're gonna stand in three, two, one, okay? So let's say that we're doing an eight count jump, okay? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, jump in two, one. Bring it up for eight, seven, six, Bethany count, five, 
four, three, two, one. That was so good. That was so good. Very good, Bethany. All right, now, you, can count. <laughs> you did amazing there. Okay, tip number seven. Do not count the entire time. You don't have to, okay? In other words, let's say I'm doing four count jumps. Okay, girls? I'm, I'm playing the role of instructor here. Pretend I'm on my bike, okay? Ready, bring it up. For four, three, two, one, and down for four, three, two, one, and up for four. It's really exhausting to your class and to you to keep up those counts. You don't need to do it. Just tell people we're doing four count jumps. Get them started and then say something like, keep it going, okay? So let's say we're on two count jumps now, which by the way, this tip isn't in there. That's really the fastest jumps you want a group of people to do. Okay, now, everybody take it to the saddle and bring it up for, bring it up for two. One, and down for two. One, are you still on beat? Two. One, yeah. and down for no, two. I'm fast now. Yes, you are. That's right. That's why as an instructor, you have to keep your eye on the cadence monitor. Up, two, there you go. You got it, you got it, you got it. Okay, I can't remember what my point was on this. Oh, so make sure that you don't count the entire time, okay? Yeah. So if I get you guys going on two count jumps, as long as I get you started, I need to bow out after that. And just, you can even say just sit and stand at that point, okay. Tip number eight, try to have people um, switch the lead leg that they're using for their jump. Um, so for example, and this is hard to get your class to do, but it does matter if you're doing a lot of jumps in your class, which leg comes over the top as they're standing. But it requires a lot of uh, mind and body working together. It's almost cognitive to get people to make that switch. But if you're doing 10 minutes of jumps, you better work on letting them switch that leg that comes over the top on your count, okay? So, real quickly. All right, so now, going through this. The beat of this song is 68 beats per minute, okay? I just went on my bike, I could hear it, but if I pulled it into my app, it would show me 68 beats per minute. Now watch. All right, girls, ready? Are we at 68 RPM? You can see it. Keep your eyes on it. Bring it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it down. Eight again. Eyes on the cadence monitor, right? Three, two, one. Bring it up. All right, Mayor, take over. Switch to four count jumps for you. Mayor, take over. Down. or taking a class to really 